question, would any of you be willing to go on a reality show? Yeah. How about a show that puts you with a total stranger in some of the wildest places on earth with no food or water for 21 days? Oh, yeah. And you'd be completely naked. Ah, not so much anymore. Well, that's the premise of Discovery Channel's wildly popular series, Naked and Afraid. And if you haven't seen it, here's what you were about to sign up for. <laughs> Naked and Afraid is the ultimate survival challenge. Billy, the water's rising. The fire's never gonna hold. Oh my God, you're so screwed. The whole camp is flooded. Each couple must work together as they battle dangerous animals. There's another one. Oh my God, they're everywhere. Extreme weather. Freaking freezing. And starvation. I see one, Billy. Oh, he's massive. 21 days, no food, no water, and no clothes. It's insane here. Everything wants to suck your blood and kill you. <laughs> wow. Now, those are some real words to end a clip with. Please welcome the two contestants who survived that ordeal. Kai and Billy are here. Yeah. So, okay, I guess many people are... The question everyone wants to know, are y'all crazy? <laughs> <laughs> okay, is that just a question I would have... Come on, Billy. We're talking about snakes. We're talking about gators. Uh, you, you lost 40 pounds while you were doing this show. Why would you... Why'd you want to do this? Well, it was... When I was contacted about it, it was just the ultimate challenge for doing, putting my skills, my survival skills to the ultimate test. So you just wanted to challenge yourself, basically? Yes, yes. Because if I'm clear, there is no big grand prize. There's no big no. prize money for this. Mm -hmm. no. So which brings me back to my first question. <laughs> <laughs> Not crazy at all, you sure? <laughs> the sanest people you'd meet, <laughs> actually, if you knew me in the life, I know. Well, you seem pretty practical. Um, is this the first time you guys have ever done something like this where you're just literally naked around cameras, or do you kind of enjoy... <laughs> <laughs> I, I've I, never, it's okay if you do. I've never flashed anybody. <laughs> I'm not a girl that would moon anybody. Like, I, I you know, I've, I've never done anything like this in my life with the nudity, but I have done a survival challenge like this before. I did 10 days hiking across Sierra Nevadas with nothing but a pocket knife. So the survival wow. aspect I had done before, the nudity, just took it to the next level. Well, what was it for you? Why did you want to sign up and do this? Well, I love survival. I love the outdoors. Mm -hmm. I've never been offered a greater challenge than this. Um, nobody really realizes what a protective layer clothing is out there. It just adds, you know, to take away that, it just strips us of the last layer of protection in a survival situation. So, so tell me how you feel. You're I mean, it, naked and afraid, I mean, but you're, you're surviving. You're out here in sort of in the bayou of Louisiana. Yeah. I mean, I watch swamp people all the time, and there's some... <laughs> <laughs> I, I just wanted to send you one of the Landry's. Get on over there and get them out of that... Away from that gator. Yeah. But, um, but, but is, it, is it something that you feel you you overcame while you were out there? I mean, you have no clothes on. I'm watching you step down into this swamp. There are snakes everywhere. There are all kinds of insects. It's, it's got to be kind of crazy. What, what, uh, and, you, and you have no clothes on. So <laughs> at what point, at what point, did, the, at what point did, did all of that sort of go away, whatever inhibitions or insecurities, whatever, because you, you guys didn't even know each other, right? No. no. The first time we met, we were butt naked in, yeah. in that swamp. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> it was I, I, quite the introduction. <laughs> You just don't look down, you know, you just try and maintain eye contact. <laughs> I would totes look down. I'm sorry. It's just... <laughs> Let's just get it out there, okay? I mean, you're going to see it. Um, <laughs> From every angle. Every angle. And then you got, like, a whole camera crew following you around. Um, but at some point, you, I guess you had to lean on each other. Yeah. Oh. I'd, I'd say the nudity thing for me lasted maybe an hour. Mm -hmm. And then after that, there were a lot bigger problems to have to deal with. Mm -hmm. I mean, survival was, was the priority. So what's the first thing you had to do to survive? Was oh, it we had shelter? Is it food? Is it... What, what, did, what is it? Yeah. That, that really 
depends on the situation you're put in. And for us, we were put in Louisiana swamplands in the coldest May on record. So if uh. we hadn't been able to get fire started that first night, we wouldn't have made it through that night. So um, you can last three days without water, 21 days without food. But yeah. for us, if we hadn't made fire that first night, we wouldn't have gotten any further. Yeah. Wow. Mm. I mean, it really, the, when I heard about this show at the very beginning, I thought, what a great idea. I, I wasn't sure what two people they would get to do it, but I like watching some of the, you know, the survivor kind of shows yeah. where people are really challenged to dig deep inside of themselves to figure out how to do it and use whatever skills they can. You, you guys, you lost a lot of weight. You look like a grizzly bear already yeah. in the show. You grew your beard yeah. out. And, for almost 43 pounds in 21 wow. days. So it's about a two pounds a day. Wow. We, we worked out just, we had dinner last night, and we worked out that there were probably 10 or 11 days out of the 21 where we had nothing. So we would boil a pot of water up for breakfast and a pot of water for lunch and dinner, and that was all we had all day. So we were in a really, really extreme location. Would you do it again? Sometimes I watch the show and I say, yeah, I want to get out there and do it again just for the challenge. And then other times logic kicks in and says, would you really want to do that to yourself again? Are you that crazy? So I, I don't know. Sometimes I say yes, sometimes I say no. Never say never, though. Now, I'm always listening to uh, one of my favorite stations, Shade 45 in the mornings, on the way to work. And <laughs> Sway is, I mean, he, your show comes up so much. But... It kind of begs the question, out there all that time, together, just you two, <laughs> single, <laughs> any, any, any friction of a different sort, any fire building of, <laughs> or no? We, as I said, we were in such an extreme environment. Like, from the second we took our clothes well, off. Well, it was cold. I mean, right. body heat keeps mm -hmm. you warm. But the <laughs> fire keeps you warmer. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Well, fire keeps so nada. And yeah. we had 18 days where we were on this knife edge of whether we were going to even survive or not to the next day. And by day 18, you're so stinky, smelly, you haven't washed really. I mean, you haven't brushed your teeth. <laughs> it's like, it's the none. most unromantic situation you can be in. <laughs> you're dirty. You're getting eaten by mosquitoes. No sleep. No, food. no sleep. What's the first, first shower feel like after that? It was an it hour and a like half to take long. A bath. Wow. Oh. Yeah. Like dreads. These, this was just dreads. Yeah. Rasta Mine. sister, yeah, man. <laughs> Don't even hang it. That's what I'm talking about. Well, you didn't get, you know, the huge grand prize money that we see on other the other, t the other uh, TV shows, but I did make you a little something because I respect you for being able to oh. do that. Just a little something. Yay! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. It's a nice t-shirt. It feels oh. soft. Oh. Just oh. for you. If only I had this out there. Yeah. <laughs> I have a lot of respect for you. I mean, this is something to me. This is my kind of thing. So I'm, I'm glad to meet someone who was able to do it and pull it off. And y'all keep good. Oh. Keep, keep good. Thank you. Um, you got to check out episodes of Naked and Afraid on the Discovery Channel. See what they've been doing. See how they do it. Starts on Sunday, June 22nd. We'll be right back. Thank you so much.